Welcome back to this new Pizza Raid tutorial. Today we want to create a quick jungle scene. We will use some basic geometry. We will add some trees, some fog and some lights. Let's jump right in. Here we have a fresh blender scene. And today we want to use here our cube. Let's change this one now. Let's press N and we want to use here this transform menu to change the cube to 40 by 4.2 by 0.5. And I want to put this a little bit down to minus 0.2. Let's bring in here our Rust. So let's go to Asset Browser and I want to bring in this one here. Press Alt and G. And now we need a plane for something like a, a water surface stuff. So let's go to plane. And we want to change this one now to 40 by 15. And let's put this back to minus 5 and a little bit down to minus 0.09. Now let's create some stairs. We need another cube. And let's change this one now here in the scale to 7.5 by 0.125 by 0.125. Let's bring this to 2.25 in the Y. And we want to add here now a modifier add modifier and array. Let's go here and change the factor X to zero and the Y to one and the Z to 0.9 and let's increase the count to five. Now we need another cube. Let's press A, shift A and mesh cube. Then we want to change this one here now to 5.5 by 30 by 0.5 in the dimensions. Let's go here now to 18.5 in the Y and 0.65 in the Z. Okay, that's basically our scene here. Um, now we want to add here a pine tree. So let's go to file, import FBX. We want to use here this down pine FBX and let's import this one here. Here it is. When we are going now into the material preview, yeah, we can see that the stem has a texture, but the needles are pink. That means that the texture is missing. So let's fix this. We have to change here now to shade editor. Yeah, let's cut here the base color. We want to change the base color here now to a greenish color. I want to go here with uh, this hex code. And now we can change here the image of this node here. So let's press on the folder and go into your uh, stone pine FBX folder and select here these pine needles. And now we can put this one here, the color into the alpha. Yeah, now we have an alpha channel, but we can't see this here in the material preview. We have to go into rendered mode. First, let's change the render engine to cycles and the device to GPU compute. Let's go to rendered. Now we can see that we are having here some needles in the tree, which is good. And now we can go ahead. Maybe let's go back here to solid mode. And I want to put this one here now into new collection. Press M, new collection underscore pine. And let's hide this here. Now we want to bring in here a new instance of our pine. So let's select this one, right click and instance to scene. And now we want to bring this to different position. We need six pines. Uh, so let's go ahead with the first one. We want to push this now to 12 by 29.3 by minus five. I want to rotate this now to minus 317 and scale this one up and every axis to three. Okay, let's go ahead with the right side. So press shift D again. I want to put this a little bit here in the front. So let's go with 12 by 5 by minus 9. And I want to rotate this to minus 253. Scale this down in every axis to 2. Let's duplicate this one again. Shift and D. And we want to put this a little bit to the side. So let's go with 19.5 by 5 by minus 12. And rotate this to minus 115. That's the right side. Let's go ahead with the left. Uh, let's select this uh, first one, pressing Shift and D and put this one now to minus 13 by 29.3 by minus 10. Rotate this to minus 58. And what's really important here now, I want to scale the Z value of this tree. So let's go with 5.68. Yeah, it looks a little bit jerky, but later we won't see this tree. It's uh, important here for some cool god rays later. So uh, keep this in mind. 
and now we can go ahead duplicate this one here and let's go to minus 13.3 by 12 by minus 5.6 rotate this here everything to zero and i want to go now with two in the x y and z and the last one shift and d minus 12.87 by 11 by minus 18.84 and the rotation is minus 205 in the z and we want to increase the scale again to three that's everything with the trees let's go ahead here now with our camera so let's jump into the camera by pressing zero and let's change this one now to minus 6.7 by minus 24 by 3.1 89.5 in the x rotation by zero by minus 20.3 so and now it's time to uh, bring in here a second window we want to change here in the camera settings the viewport display pass by two to one and let's go ahead with the left side press z and rendered let's create a quick material reflective material here for um yeah this kind of water thing here want to bring this down here to black and i want to turn the roughness all the way down to zero now we're having here a cool reflection. Let's go ahead now with some fog. I want to create here a new cube. Press Shift and A and go to cube. Let's increase this one here to 100. Bring in a new material. Press a new material fog. Let's select the principal by and press X to delete. Shift A to search volume scatter. Pipe this into volume. Now let's switch over to our light so we can see something let's go here and use this color something bluish and i want to increase this to 1 million so let's add three zeros one two and three now it's really bright but we can't see because we have to change here now the fog setting so let's go again back to the fog and i want to turn down the density to 0.4 and the anisotropy up to 0.1 okay now let's place uh, our light here to the final position so let's go ahead and select this one let's go here with 0 by 35.3 by 28.37 <laughs> now it's disappeared again so let's select the fog again and we want to use now a noise texture i have this here into the color and let's search for a ramp bring this here in between and now we want to Go ahead and bring the black slider right down here to the RGB here on the corner. Now we can see something is going on. Want to change now the scale of the noise to 29. So that's looking better. Now I want to change here the color of the white slider to something bluish as well. So let's go ahead with this one. And it's always the opposite <laughs> direction. So. I wanted a little bit more warmth uh, color here, so I changed this one to blue. If you want to go with a more light blue style, so you can have to go here into the orangey stuff and so on. So let's go ahead here with this blue thing here. We can go ahead here and change the environment color as well. So let's go here to the world and I want to change this here to something bluish as well so we have a little bit more blue here in the dark parts which is cool we can go here into the render settings and change the color management to a very high contrast and the last thing is i switched off here the light tree so for me it's a little bit faster to render that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out subscribe to my channel if you want to support me check out my gumroad or blender market page see you there and bye